how to stop the alien infiltration or we're all goners. They suggest our subject is highly intelligent, analytical, and at the same time extremely antisocial. The frantic prose style and absence of commas in a sentence construction suggests a possible caffeine addiction or perhaps a clinical nerve disorder. A high school reunion, huh? This sounds like a good time. This one? Then maybe I should go with you. Come on, Foster. I'm a big boy. I don't need a chaperone. Linguistic mannerisms indicate an educational background in the northeastern United States. Further behavioral analysis denotes an IQ in the genius range, age between 30 and 35. This is pure needle in a haystack. This person has covered their footprints extremely well. No census data, no birth records, no nothing. We've discovered a potential clash of perceived current accomplishments and painful events buried deep in his past. What humans commonly call a midlife crisis. Oh man, I'm losing it. I'm a 33-year-old man driving around the country in a trailer screaming my head off about aliens. We'll join the club. If our computer model is accurate, someone of this age group and personality is likely to revisit their past. Specifically class reunions. How do we target this guy? Realistically. We'll dispatch field units to the top 25 learning institutions. You and I will lead a team to the most promising one. I gotta go, Foster. Things happen to me back there. Affected my whole life. One of those things wouldn't happen to be an ex-girlfriend, would it, Eddie? Don't worry. I got protection. Protection. Small, but it's deadly. Think of it, Lon. If we catch Eddie Nambulas, we'll be division commanders in a heartbeat. We've tried various methods to get Cade Foster to reveal the whereabouts of the Nostradamus book. All failures. It's time to target his ally. Look, I could drive you there. I, I could hang back in the shadows. Come on, Foster. What's gonna happen? Nobody wants me. It's you they're after. Think about Eddie. No siree, Bob. Think about Eddie. In 1564, Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Cade Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them, I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. They say that high school is a practice run for the marathon of life. If that's the case, then what started out with a blazing burst of speed ended in the limpid lameness of loserdom. A terrible personal event closed out my school years and has haunted me to this day. A failure so profound I cast off my closest friends like obsolete software and never looked back. Until now. That's why I've decided to leave the warm security of the trailer for the cold, harsh reality of Heisenberg High. To reconnect with the people who once were my friends and seek answers to the enigma that is my life. Stevie, you look great. You lost so much weight. You almost look thin. Not at all. I financed it with a balloon from it, and I don't care if I have 33 years old. Dungeons and you know, Dragons is part of my life. You see that guy? I mean, you look like that. Yep, five kids. Make them feel just real too sacrifice. Thank you, David. Larry Pazinski, computer genius. You still cannot cross a road. Hello, Herman. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you look good. And so do you. Put the whole senior class in that thing, huh? Yeah, yeah. I guess you could. <laughs> Started my own company, Garrett Computer Security. We protect financial transactions on the net. We were hackers, man. Don't tell me you sold out. Oh, I did, yeah. For about a quarter of a billion dollars. <laughs> the IPO was last month. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How about you? The guy with your computer skills had to hit the jackpot by now. I'm in uh, publishing. Got a journal on the web. Oh. Is there any money in that? No. Right. 
I'll see you inside. Mary Ann's gonna be here. I know. How do you know? You're not the only one who thought she was the greatest thing since Steve Jobs developed a user-friendly interface. See you inside, Larry. students, is that correct? Oh, damn right, but that didn't mean we didn't have a good time. <laughs> Tell me about one of those good times. Oh, the senior class trip to the Delaware Water Gap. There was a whole busload of us gifted and talented lunatics singing 99 bottles of beer on the wall all the way up the turnpike, and then right there in the back of the bus, Mimi Vandenberg pulls up her top and flashes the whole class. Oh, that Mimi was a kick. And you know, we didn't have a football team, so... If your IQ was over 170, you got to go under the bleachers with Mimi. <laughs> After 15 years, he's still a jerk. Stanley? And Spencer. Mary? <laughs> How's life, Stan? I'm fine, fine. You know, wife, two kids, a job at CompuCetic, house in the burbs. That's terrific. I've tried to reach you, but it's like you fell off the face of the earth. I pulled the ripcord after what went down, raised all traces. Was that serious? Hey, man, they threatened me with life in prison. 17-year-old kid, that's damn serious. So what happened? Conditional probation. Couldn't touch a computer the rest of my life. So Larry Pazinski had to say, adios. Listen, I, I left the wife and kids home hoping you'd be here. We have to talk about what happened. There's something Family. I... <laughs> Hello, Mimi. How are you? Better since the divorce. Oh. I've always had a thing for you. You did? Mm -hmm. Come on, I'll prove it. Uh, we need to talk.
Listen to the phraseology. Did you guys catch that? Mimi just said she wants to go into the obliches again with me. <laughs> with me. Oh man, I'm gonna have a double heart attack and die right here. <laughs> His use of extended metaphor and repetition is very much in line with our psychological profile for Crazy Eddie. Bert J. Franken, salesman for electronics firm, divorced, travels widely. It's a perfect cover to follow Kate Foster around the country. This could be our Eddie. I was hoping to see Larry. As a matter of fact, I saw him on my way in. You did? Mm-hmm. How is he? Not too good. Hmm. Okay, Herman. Let's see how protected you really are. Foster, I need you to boot up my computer. Is everything all right? Yeah, it's gonna be. I'm gonna set up a link between my Nokia 9000 and the mainframe of the trailer. Use the mainframe to uh, set up a viral attack mechanism. Under the access icon, type Garrett Computer Securities. Okay, I typed it in. Eddie? just broke into my company system. I gotta make some phone calls. Okay, so I... Uh, I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Okay, right, right You have a lot of explaining to do. I was lurking in a government file, highly classified. All of a sudden, the door bursts open and the feds come swarming in. To this day, I don't know whether or not there was errors in my hacking language or I punched in the wrong machine codes. I'm not talking about your arrest. I'm talking about why you never called me. I couldn't contact you guys. The heat was too intense. For 15 years? The reason I came to this reunion was because of you. I mean, you and I were in love. Getting caught by the feds changed me. It made me who I am today, a recluse and a paranoid. I'm sorry. Losing touch with you is the biggest regret of my life. So you married? Three times. Wow, you've got a lot of regrets to choose from. <laughs> they all divorce me. It's tough being married to a paranoid. Checking the breakfast cereal for strychnine doesn't exactly make for a warm and fuzzy relationship. <laughs> How about you? Single. Oh, come on. There's gotta be guys lined up around the block. Mm, nothing that ever really clicked. I don't know why. Too busy, I guess. I run a computer literacy program for inner city kids. Baltimore. Takes up most of my time. Oh. Many an hour spent here. You were a hacker par excellence. The only woman in the binary bandits. Still remember? Oh, yeah.
How'd you learn to do that? One of the kids in Baltimore. Oh, look at that. TRS-80. On a VIC-20. A Commodore 64. Oh, they wouldn't even run a watch these days. Oh, wow. The Lisky 1000, they still got it. <laughs> Remember all the juice that thing took? Oh, when we turned it on, the lights would dim two blocks away. <laughs> Man, those were great days. Yeah. Remember the time we put that 8-bit microprocessor together? Oh, yeah, that's right. The F8, 3870, SCMP, and 8080, and the... Was that? Oh, Cosmac 1802. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We hacked into the school database, gave Earl Binkle straight A's. When oh, he got early acceptance at Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Larry. Oh. Larry, what's wrong? Marion, I want you to go to the gym. Pardon me? The gym. Go back now. Look, please go back to the gym. There's something I gotta do. you that answering truthfully is in your best interest. Are you crazy, Eddie? Who are you? What's going on here? Answer the question. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard of crazy Eddie. Are you aware of a journal known as the Paranoid Times? No. Oh. Are you familiar with a man named Kate Foster? No. This is a waste of time. A man of Crazy Eddie's intelligence might have figured out a way to beat our system. Do you honestly believe that this man is an ally to Subject 117? Maybe you're right. We should just kill him and keep looking. No. If Crazy Eddie is here and someone goes missing, he might get suspicious. Then wipe out his memory of the last hour. We have the equipment. We can always kill him later. Let me give it one more shot. Listen, Bert. We need some answers. Please. Don't hurt me. Think back to the class of 84. Was there anyone who had any special abilities with regard to computers? We all did. I mean, that's why we were here. Someone extra special. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Think! There was a group of hackers. I mean, they were brilliant. They started out with pranks like changing class grades and schedules, but then they got more serious. Hacked into government facilities, military installations, you name it. They even shifted satellites. They were legends. Who were they? No one had a clue. They were too good. Whenever they broke a system, all they left was a handle. The binary bandits. Can you remember anything else about them? Eddie? 
searching for me, Foster. Right here at the school. Get the hell out of there, Eddie, now! No, I've got some time. The Guar are gonna have a hell of a time finding old Larry Pazinski. Who's Larry Pazinski? I am. What are you talking about? Yeah, I changed my name, Foster, after what happened in high school. Eddie's not your real name? It's Larry Pazinski. You never told me that. I don't tell anybody. Well, all right. For your own protection. So what do I call you, Eddie or Larry? I prefer Eddie. Okay, Eddie, get your ass in a taxi cab and get out of there now. I can't. Why not? Because they're gonna go after the other hackers to find me. That puts Stanley, Herman, and Marianne in extreme danger. Eddie, get out of there. I'm sorry, Foster. Eddie? Eddie? from another planet. Yes. Where's the camera? The camera. This is a gag, right? A candid camera thing for the reunion video. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth, man. Ah, Larry, let go, you're hurting me. What's wrong with you, Stan? You act into all those government Area 51 files. You know this stuff exists. <sighs> that was high school, Larry. I grew up. Larry, but he is definitely a few bites short of a full disc. You didn't love Larry. You were jealous of him. Me? Jealous of Larry? Why would I be jealous of Larry, Marianne? Hello, Herman. Hi, Mimi. You have to promise to save old Mimi a dance before the night is through. Okay, Mimi. Marianne, it's so great how you can spruce up last year's fashions and still look so up to date. Thank you. Look, I need to talk to you. Don't right. move. Look, we idolize Larry, and you know it. He made us the binary bandits, taught us everything we knew about hacking, and was so damn loyal that when he got arrested, he didn't say a word about us. Larry, 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 it's always about Larry. Larry is a paranoid, neurotic freak, Marianne. We have to hide. We're all in extreme danger. Okay. So what is it this time, Larry? Uh, CIA, Black Ops, Chopper units, FBI, mind control? No, 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 no. God, no. It's the YMCA death squads. I'm not kidding, Herman. The binary bandits are in trouble. We gotta get Stan and get out of here. And if we don't, what? Oh, wait, let me guess. We're all gonna die. No, it's worse than that. The whole world is in danger. Okay, Larry. I'll be in the bar. Larry, what is going on? Marianne, I know that I'm paranoid, but I'm not crazy. Well, then explain. All right, well, you see, there's this group of... From, from, from another galaxy. Do you know where Wormhole is? Yeah. I'm gonna go get Stan, come back and explain. You wait here. Switch to the pretty sangria, Larry. Stay off the hard stuff. You'll be fine. 
as long as you cooperate. Now, I want you to tell me all about Eddie. It was Herman. Herman? He ratted you out. You saw Herman on the truck? What truck? The alien party rental truck. You said Herman ratted me out to the aliens. Aliens? They're aliens, Stan. The people who took you. They're part of an invasionary force who wants to take over the planet. I was talking about the cops. The cops? Where? Herman ratted you out to the cops back in high school. That's why they raided the computer room. He wanted that notebook you had with all the hacking codes. He was going to use the code formulas to stop other hackers, start a company. What's worst? I knew Herman took the notebook and I didn't tell you. He promised me a piece of the company. That's why I came today, Larry, to ask you if you could ever forgive me. You were right to be paranoid. We're out to get you. Why don't you your wife? Oh, no, I haven't had too much to drink. All right, okay, all right. Get in the back seat, huh? What's going on, Eddie? There you go. Ready, bye. I got car trouble, Eddie. The caddy's overheated. I know, I know. The thermostat's been acting up lately. One of the fan belts is loose. Okay, there you go. Snappy time. Sleepy sleeps. Listen, this is gonna take longer than I figured you're gonna have to hide till I get there. Can't do it. Eddie, listen to me, because I'm not very good at this kind of thing. I need you. You're the only person in the world I can count on, so you got to stay safe any way you can. I don't have a choice, man. They're going after my friends. Got to go. Don't worry, I'll explain everything. Mm. We erased his memory, Lon. Stanley Spencer presents no threat. You have to admit he was much braver than the first one. All that matters is now we have names. Yes. Our operative on the inside is very confident we'll have Crazy Eddie very, very soon. That's me, Crazy Eddie Nambulus. I don't know what to say. Well, you can say alien invasion. It's all so weird. Yeah, it is. Well, if it's true, I can see why you're... you. A paranoid freak. I'm the way I am because of what happened back here, not because of any damn extraterrestrials. Stanley told me all about it. Well, about what? Stanley and Herman. About what they did to me. Honestly, Larry, I have no idea what you're talking about. The feds came in and arrested me, right here in this room. Herman was the one who called them in. With Stanley's help. They did it to get my code books. Oh, Larry, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Oh, wow. All this time, we might have been together.
I, I got to go get Herman. Uh, here. You hang on to this for protection. I'll, uh, I'll be back as soon as I can. Be careful, Eddie. I, I mean, Larry. Yeah, you too. Tell me about what you did. It was a long time ago, Larry. Why? I just want to know why. We're kids, Larry. Get over it. Herman, I want to know. I was always second best. I break an encryption code, jump into the site. You'd already been there. You had everything. You had the brains, know how, and you had Marianne. You son of a bitch. Just calm down, Larry. You ruined my life. Fine. I will make it up to you. How are you going to do that? Give me back my years? Huh? Can you give me back my identity? I'm not Larry Brzezinski anymore. I'd become someone else. Oh, man. On the other hand, the past is the past. I gotta go. Not exactly what we expected, but finding you was only a matter of time. At last, crazy Eddie Nambulus. That's right. You found me. What do you want? It's very simple. Cade Foster in the Nostradamus book. I'll never tell you anything. Okay, Eddie, tell me the location of the Nostradamus book. You're wacko, man. You're never getting your hands on that book. No way, no how. Ergo ipso facto, you're gonna lose. The linguistic pattern matches, but the vocal inflections don't. They imply a much more stable personality than we expected. No antisocial indicators, no nerve disorder. Paranoia must be a cover. She's that good. You're saying that Larry Pazinski was arrested before receiving his diploma. That's why he isn't on any school records. And that Larry Pazinski changed his name to Eddie Nambulus? Yes. I just saw the guy two minutes ago. He's in the school. He's the one you're looking for. That would explain. 
explain the inconsistencies in our psychological profile. Herman Garrett, you betrayed him again, you bastard. somewhere. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Uh, just a little announcement to make. That's him. It's a little unusual, I know. But if there's any aliens out there, and you know who you are, I think you're looking for me. Crazy Eddie. You were good, Larry, just not good enough. I never liked that slut. You saved my life. You saved mine. <laughs> this came in handy. Well, you're a bona fide alien fighter now. How did you plan this whole thing? I had some help. An old hacker con, the inside man. Here he is now. <laughs> when we found that you went missing, I asked Herman to help me get you back. So we cooked up a plan. Get Herman to rat me out in exchange for you. Ailings took the bait, I led them to a trap. And it was brilliant, Larry. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you two finally working together. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. It's Dan. I fell asleep in the car. Oh. oh. What that fruity sangria? It does it to me every time. 
Binary bandits together again. So, uh, now what? I can't stop now. I've got to keep fighting the war. I'm going to help you any way I can. I'll be sending you a check. You've got some serious cash headed your way. Thank you, Herman. Hey, Stan. Mm. So, I could go with you, Larry. It's too dangerous. But Foster and I got some plans for the believers. There'll come a day. And besides, we'll always have high school. Got quite a blast from the past at my high school reunion. And a crystal clear message courtesy of the Gua. I'm on the front lines with Cade Foster. And they've got the crosshairs on me just like they've got their sights set on him. Eddie! You okay? You all right? What happened? I dealt with him. You dealt with it. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Eddie? As for my friends, I would never have guessed that Stanley could have taken part in Herman's theft so many years ago. But I also never guessed that either of them could be so brave in the face of death. Now they know the invasion's here. New believers in our fight against the Gua. By confronting the pain of my past, I healed old wounds and gained a better understanding of who I am. I may be paranoid, but I sure as hell ain't crazy. <laughs>